Ever pondered about the safety of your precious data on the internet? In this digital age, internet security isn't just a concept, it's a necessity. It's the invisible armor that safeguards our personal information, our financial data, our very identities. Yet, as we navigate through this vast digital universe, we're not alone. There's an insidious presence lurking in the shadows. Hackers, these digital predators are constantly on the prowl, seeking out vulnerabilities to exploit. And they have a weapon of choice, malware. This malicious software is their ticket to unauthorized access, their tool to cause havoc. The world of malware is as diverse as it is dangerous, with different types designed to achieve different ends. From viruses and worms to ransomware and spyware, each poses a unique threat to our digital well-being. Understanding how hackers spread malware is the first step in protecting ourselves. So, let's dive in and unravel the intricacies of this cyber menace. So, what is this malware that hackers use as their weapon of choice? Well, the term malware is a contraction of malicious software. It's a general term that encompasses a range of harmful or intrusive software, including viruses, worms, and trojans. First, let's talk about viruses. Just like human viruses, these programs can replicate themselves and spread to other computers, often damaging the system's operations along the way. Next, we have worms. Worms are similar to viruses, but they can spread without any human action needed. They typically exploit a network's security flaws to move from one system to the next. Lastly, we have Trojans. Named after the famous Trojan horse, these programs disguise themselves as legitimate software. But once downloaded, they can take control of your computer, often leading to data theft or loss. Each type of malware has its unique features and ways of causing harm. Now that we know what malware is, let's delve into how hackers spread it. In the world of hacking, deception is the key. You see, hackers often operate like illusionists, diverting your attention while they perform their tricks unseen. And one of their most common tricks is the spreading of malware. So how do they do it? Let's break it down. First, there's phishing. This is a technique where hackers masquerade as a trustworthy entity, like your bank or your favorite online store. They send you an email or a message with a link, asking you to update your details or claiming that there's a problem with your account. The moment you click on that link and enter your details, the hacker has you. Then comes malvertising, a portmanteau of malicious advertising. Here, hackers buy ad space on legitimate websites. These ads, however, are laced with malware. When you click on them, you inadvertently download the malware onto your device. The scary part? Sometimes you don't even need to click. Just loading the ad can be enough. Next, we have drive-by downloads. This happens when a hacker infiltrates a website and inserts a small piece of code. When you visit the website, the code automatically downloads malware onto your device. It's like stepping on a hidden landmine. It's important to note that hackers don't just use one of these techniques. They often combine them, creating a multi-layered web of deceit. For instance, a phishing email could lead you to a malvertising-laden website, which then triggers a drive-by download. And here's the rub. Hackers are aware that we are becoming more vigilant, so they are constantly evolving their methods, finding new ways to trick us into downloading their malware. They exploit our curiosity, our fears, our trust. They play on our human nature because they know that the weakest link in any security chain is not a password or a firewall, but a person. Thus, the art of hacking is not just technical, but also psychological. As we've seen, the process of spreading malware is intricate and deceptive. Malware, a malicious software designed to cause harm, is often spread through seemingly innocent channels. Phishing emails, compromised websites, and infected downloadable files are among the most common methods used by hackers. This underlines the importance of being aware and understanding these techniques. By knowing how malware is spread, we can take precautionary measures to guard against these threats. Regularly updating software, avoiding suspicious emails and websites, and installing a reliable antivirus program are some of the steps we can take to protect ourselves. It's also crucial to remember that no system is entirely immune. Cybersecurity is not a one-time fix, but a continuous process. It requires constant vigilance and regular updates to stay ahead of the ever-evolving threats. The war against malware is ongoing, but with knowledge and vigilance, we can better defend ourselves.